Hi, I'm Spencer Quist. And I'm David Silverman. And we are about to give you the first round of the state tournament game, the Weston Trojans versus the Joel Barlow Falcons. You know, we're really expecting to have a great game, great turnout by the fans behind us. It's going to be a high-scoring game, lots of fun. It's our first telecast. We're going to have a lot of fun, and we'd like to ask all of you at home to please stay tuned. Thank you. We welcome you again to Weston Basketball. They are just introducing the Joel Barlow squad. A couple things that we're going to talk about before it all starts. The atmosphere. This is a heated, heated rivalry. Weston does not like Joel Barlow, and Joel Barlow does not like Weston. This is going to be a very, very interesting game. All right, so now we are going to the Weston starting lineups. What we're going to see here is a bit of Weston magic. You know, we've got the two Lee Tyson brothers leading it off at guard. They've been leading the team very well this year, both of them averaging a fair amount of points. For Ashley Tyson, it's been a point total of around five points a game, a little bit more than that. Ashley Tyson has been averaging, sorry, uh, 17 points a game. And it's just been doing a great year for these two. And we're going to see our starting lineups now. So, if I didn't say about the atmosphere, this table is shaking, the music is going, people are clapping. This is going to be a heck of a game. If you want to watch one game tonight, it is this game right here. The okay, first so our first squad, first guard. We have Nick Parker, he's a freshman, six foot one, has been having the second most points on the team. The next guard we uh, the next full, uh, forward we have, sorry, is Matthew Folger. Six foot six, a junior on the team, probably leading the team next year. The next we have is Grant Lamone, power forward on the team. He's a senior. He's six foot three, has been playing on varsity since his freshman year. And now our first guard, Ethan Lee Tyson. He is the shooting guard on the team, five foot eleven, was brother of Ashley Tyson. And the point guard on the team is Ashley Tyson, five foot eleven, been leading the team since his freshman year. Him and his brother are the tag team duo. A little bit of controversy with Asher. He had a back injury. We are going to go to the Ashley team right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we now invite you to stand and hear with us as a more Right up, right up. Oh, right here. Right here, right Quick correction before yeah. we start. And Ashley Tyson has been averaging 12.1 points a game. His brother Ethan has been averaging around 3.9 points a game. Nick Parker has been averaging 7.7 .7 points a game. Matthew Folger leading the team with 15 points per game. Now, as we were talking about before the National Income started, the back injury with Ashley Tyson. He was out for the end of the season, came back in during, during SWCs was a little, little bit sloppy because of that bag injury, and he's back in full health tonight. We are very, very excited for this tip-off. Uh, the Weston team has an overall record of 14 and 8, and Joe Barlow has an overall record of 9 and 11. The national rank for Joe Barlow, not too impressive, 7,268 national rank. But Weston, on the other hand, 3,000 ranks ahead at 4,039. And, and we're we about to get this off. started. Matthew Folger and the tip goes to Joel Barlow. Settling it is number one, Will Bracken. He is going to take it up top, and they're going to wait for their offense to settle. 
the defense for Western High School has been a key part in their championship run. Um, our, there's a defensive-minded team, and here we go. Pass the inside, pass the outside. They're looking to penetrate the shot. It is a make. Two nothing, Joel Barlow, and as Weston brings it up with Ethan Lee Tyson running the offense. There's a lot of screening going on in the Weston offense, a lot of screening and running away. Um, it's not a very structured offense. The coach believes that his players are talented enough to score on their own. And they love to do that on defense, getting steals, fast break chances. They're running through, running through, looking for an open shot. Nick Parker now is the ball, the freshman. Matthew Folger, 4 3. Got it! And Boom for Matthew Folger, and three out of his possible. 12 points a game. And once he gets started, he cannot stop. Again, the leading scorer on this team. He has been so hot this season and a great, great attribute. Attribute. Probably the future of Four three, Joe answer. Barlow. Missed. No answer. No answer by Joe Barlow. That's a big, big thing in high school basketball, trying to answer the other team. Pass the folds on the inside. Again, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. Ethan Lee Tyson down the baseline. Kick out to his brother, Asher. Driving to the inside, Asher is. Popped out to Folger. He got it! Another, that's five points already for Matthew Folger. He's heating up very quickly. They're looking at him, looking to him uh, right off the beginning of the tip. You know, they're really looking to get him going. Mm -hmm. Now, here we go to Joel Barlow's side again. Zach Pompey he is going to be a key, key matchup. He really would help, to help them in overtime in the last game. Very true, very true. He was a big asset to them in overtime. Able to make the Air ball by Joel Barlow. It's going and back to Western Way. we are starting to hear this crowd already. Ashley Tyson. A very, very interesting call there by the ref. Travel, did you think that was correct call? You know, it's very hard to tell in high school basketball. They move so fast, especially these two players. When you shuffle your feet like that, they're usually going to call you. Mm -hmm. Try to keep that pivot foot plan. You know, they always saw that to us. Yep, and here he is, Will Bracken again, setting up the offense, the point guard for Joel Barlow. Pass to number three, Jack Gallagher, 4-3. Missed, and it is now Joel Barlow ball. Yeah, the go go with Weston down the other way. You know, the Tysons are very well known for their defense. Although they are scoring threats and very good at assisting the ball, they really got into the program on defense. Ethan Lee Tyson's going to bring it up, settle the offense, going a little bit slow, which is a very interesting pace for Weston. Ashley Tyson now looking to get to his brother, swings it on the outside, and Nick Parker, the freshman. Ashley Tyson again going to set up the offense. This is States, everyone. <laughs> And he is, Ethan Lee Tyson coming outside. Nick Parker again settling. Driving, good defense by Barlow. You no, know, there is no shot clock in high school basketball, so they can take as long as they want. They can wait for something to appear. They can do whatever they'd like to do. Ethan Lee Tyson passing inside to Folger. Folger going to take it in the post. Foul. Did not get it to go, and it will go. Matthew Folger on the foul line. You no, know, Folger's length is actually a real key thing to him. And he's been averaging a lot of points in the game because he's so long. And to get to the basket without people really know. He's at the line right Matthew now. Matthew Folger, the first shot. He will send it up. Here we go. First free throw of the night. Got the first one to go. You know, Matthew Folger, although being a very tall guy and who likes to get to the rim a lot, he has an amazing jump shot. He can shoot from outside. He has great field goal percentage, especially at the line. Now help him on the next level if he chooses to go there, Matthew Folger. Got the second one to go as well. And it's a 17 lead already. He has Five not points. missed yet tonight. He has not missed yet tonight. That is key, key, key for Matthew Folger. You know, in the first main between these two people, Weston won 73 to 67. And, you know, we're expecting. Oh, block by Nick Parker. And block again, and they will call a foul on that one. And the crowd is lovely. They are lovely. Looked clean, will not go Weston's side, and to the line goes number 11, Zach Pompey. And Nick Parker actually has had 28 blocks this year. 28 blocks on the season, which is a lot for a freshman. He's getting a lot of attention as a freshman coming into this program, and we're expecting big things out of him. He can dunk already, folks. And you're wondering if he can get it to that next level, if he's going to be able to improve. First shot is a make from Zach Pompey. A little bit, a little bit slow Joel Barlow has, and that was not the case at Joel Barlow in the first, in the first game. Wesson wasn't like David. No, it was not. Wesson comes out with a lot of energy, but Joel Barlow last time matched that energy, and they seem to be a little bit wary. He made the second Grant Lamone inbounds. Ethan Lee Tyson now takes it up top, passes to his brother Asher. Asher driving to the hoop, looking to get a pass. He does not. He might have stepped out of bounds there, but they didn't take it. You know, he was 
Ashley Tyson oh, lets get And they got the steal. This is what they want. Fast break points. Ethan Tyson misses the layup. Folger gets the rebound. Folger chips himself a lot like that. He gets a lot of rebounds. And now he's set off to cast play. Ashley Tyson 4 3. Got it! You have to get him started. You have to get him started. Whip from three there. Six point lead already. That, Pompey, that was a jump ball. And Ashley that Tyson is to Weston. fired up. Number 15, Ashley Tyson is fired up, folks. He's ready to go. Ooh, this is it. 10 4. We just started and we're going to keep on going here. Ethan Lee Tyson bringing it up the court. Looking to set up an offense. Give it to his big guy, Grant Lamone. Ethan Lee Tyson looked like he had tripped, did not, and he'll go back to Barlow Ball. Matthew Folger just had 283 rebounds per uh, for Shot the for three, Joel Barlow got it. That was number three, Jack Gallagher. He again was another key factor in the loss. In the first regular season, or in the regular season loss to get them to overtime, he made a lot of threes. And that cuts into a three-point lead. Folger, he's going to take it up top. Passing inside for Ethan Tyson, the shot mid-range. Got it! Ethan Lee Tyson was noted by Mike Evans. He's a great shooter of having a perfect shooting for him. We don't think he shoots enough, but he's obviously looking to shoot. Joel Barlow making look a substitution. John Tucker, number 34, looking to come in. Joel Barlow will set up the offense. Screen on the, screen on the uh, outside. Number 11, Zach Pompe. Going to give it on the inside. Posting up. Did not get it. Good D from Matthew Folger. Folger, although looking good there, is a little bit of a smaller kind of guy. And we'd like to look to see him bulk up a little Nick bit. Nick Parker now has it on the corner. He's going to look to drive. Give it to Grant Lamone. 4 3. Not there. Grant Lamone, also great shooting stroke on this team. He's going to be a real asset on the mid range, but he's looking to expand his shot to the three point line. And they have Weston Ball. Nope, sorry. Correction. Joel Barlow ball, and he will come in. Number 34, uh, John Tucker, will come in for number 22, John Richitelli, listed as 6'7", looks maybe an inch shorter than that, maybe a little bit of a roundup, but that's high school basketball. Folks. And then for Weston is Julian Bombard and Pascal Arbroy. Pascal Arbroy averaged the most rebounds out of any t uh, player in our conference last season, and he's doing the same kind of work today. And he got them to that state championship. Joel Barlow now on offense. Again goes the Bracken, setting it up. Give it to the high post. Pass inside, tip by Pascal. Going to Ethan. Here he goes, Ethan Lee Tyson. Very interesting move, setting it up, going slow. David Silverman talking about that. So Ethan Lee Tyson is doing something Chris Paul likes to do a lot. He's learning from his point guards, the NBA, taking his time, trying to get in front of his defensive player. Pascal Arboy now going to get to Matthew German, a junior now playing great, great time and playing a great, yes. very talented. Three juniors in right now, which speaks to oh, the team. Foul there by number 34, John Tucker, the new person brought in. And the coach is living right now. 34 didn't think it was a foul, but it was certainly a reach. That happens in that aspect, in this atmosphere, that happens. And the Folger is back on line. And Folger is back on line, no surprise there. He gets in the line a lot and he makes his free throws. Matthew Folger, his first shot. He's going to set it up. The coach is still living from Joel Barra. 34, big guy. Unfazed is Matthew Folger from the Joel Barlow crowd. 100% so far tonight from the line. And there are some, some uh, raunchy members of the crowd on both sides. That happens, that happens. Matthew Folger with the second shot. Got that one to go. He is perfect. He is perfect right now. Number one, Will Bracken, again going to set up the offense. Passes to number 32, Studer. Matthew German, also known for his defense. He's a real bulldog on defense. He likes to hold Shot people. from three. There we go. He yeah, plays great defense, though. Very strong. Did not set up the uh, feet right there, and that showed in a shot. Foul. Again, the crowd does not like that one, and we're going to see that a lot, that the crowd is not going to like it. Again, it's the atmosphere, people. The, and they call it the reservoir because of the unbelievable rivalry that we have. David, tell us a little about the rivalry. You know, the rivalry is very big. You can see the Trojan Army t-shirts everywhere. We're representing in green, they're representing in black. Folger right now, though, is heating it up, folks. Nine points, three rebounds, and four for four from the line. He is really becoming a great player. So Joel Barlow to inbound, looking to get a shot on the outside. Desperation past the outside is good. Shot inside, floater got it. Number 34, 32, Chaplin Studer, Ashley Tyson going to bring the ball up, set up the offense. Coach Fizz going to yell out, of, yell, yell out of play. David, tell us a little bit about Coach Fizz and what happened last year. Coach Fizz coming Pascal up. Pascal got it from the inside.
side. Again, he's a big, big body. He was great on the team last year. Had, a, had to dimmy down on his role this year, and he's but he's still producing. To answer your question, Coach Davis is reinstated last year, but you know he's really excited to be coaching again. He's looking for another chance to go to Mohegan Stone and possibly this time win a state championship. Well, he's knocked out by blocked by, blocked by Matthew Sorry. Folger. It's the long arms, David. It is the, the wingspan. You know, Folger averages 3.2 blocks a game. That's the kind of stats you see out of an NBA player. Serge Ibaka averages one, maybe three a game. Matthew Folger is right up there with him. He's an NBA player playing on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Who would have known? Matthew Folger, again, for his height, it's the wingspan that really, really helps him and will send him to that next level if he chooses to get there or if Folger chooses to get him there. So I'll call on Julian Bombard, you know, you gotta beat your man to the baseline. Something they tell you in all levels of basketball, but it's hard to remember in the game. In the heat of the moment, it's hard to remember. Not quick enough feet, not quick enough feet. And now Joel Barlow will inbound. Passing the outside, looking to get in, does not get it. Again, a desperation pass, but we'll get that to go. Joel Barlow on the outside, going to set up the offense. Number 20, Will Menapace. He's setting up the offense now, 42. Bryce Fay, the big man again, a forward, gonna try to give it to us, uh, set up an offense. This D, this 2-3 defense, which we don't see very much from Weston. This 2-3 defense has been key in the early going. David, tell us about that. Oh, for three, air ball! And Weston fans are going crazy off that air ball miss. We're hearing it from the crowd. You know, Weston usually goes man to man. In these past couple of weeks, they've been going to uh, zone, maybe trying to leave a little bit of legs for their offense, trying to get a little bit moving more. 108 side. remaining in the quarter, and we are almost one quarter in the state, state tournament play. Jo Julian Bombard taking it out. Now and Matthew. The fans are going crazy. Matthew, uh, excuse me. And now back out to Julian, Julian Bombard. Bombard. Ashley Tyson. Tyson re -controls. Like I said again, there is no shot clock in this league, and the only thing that's ruining them is the clock on the time. Mm -hmm. So they can take as long as they want, they can dribble for as long as they want. And when you when you have a two point guards like Asher and Ethan, that really, really helps your team because you have the leadership, you have the quickness, and you have two of them. Now Matthew German, no sir. But Grillamo will get the rebound, hard fought rebound there. Back out to Asher. Asher. Matthew German, Julian Bombard, great fake. Going to the middle, foul. It is a charging foul on Bombard, an offensive foul. You know, they like to reward kids who go out and take a charge because you are putting, you are putting yourself on the line. And that is the second foul on Julian Bombard. So coach might take him out, try to watch his fouls. As you know, in high school basketball, I believe it's five fouls and you're fouled on. And you expect that he did not get, I don't think any playing time last year in the playoffs. He came out, he's a little, little bit nervous, and now Weston switches to man defense. He has been taking over for Ashley Tyson. Number th for three. Did not get it. I don't think only one three has gone down for Barlow this half. Now Matthew Gurman going inside. Travel, it will be called. A little bit too quick the feet, as happened a couple times here tonight. Again, it's the adrenaline they're feeling. You have to be careful when you're running into a man. There's been five turnovers so far on the Weston side. That's something we'd like to cut down on. Coach Viz often likes to talk about taking care of the basketball. And we're seeing a little bit of a press right now. Oh, the and they'll throw it up. Desperation heave does not go. First quarter, Weston up 16 to 9. David, tell me a little bit about what you saw that first quarter that stands out in your mind. Obviously, the Weston team. You know, we like to lock it up on that end. But the big thing that's been happening is Matthew Folger. Like I said before, nine points. That's more than half of our points for this quarter. He's had a great game. He's been rebounding. He's been dribbling the ball. He's been perfect in the line. And the offense has been really been carrying us. But like I said, the defensive end has been locked up so far. And look at the fouls right there. Four fouls for the home team, two fouls for the guests. That will, that will come into play nearing the end of the half. And it's just going to be very, very interesting. Again, 16 to 9, Weston Trojan, Trojans over the Joel Barlow Falcons. You can see from the fouls, we have four fouls and they have two, but we're playing a little bit more of aggressive D. We're putting ourselves on the line, we're running and jumping, we're trying to get to passing lanes, get the steals because we play fast break offense. Yo, Hunter, Hunter, tell Hunter, if you're going to put Weston Trojans on the bottom, put Joel Barlow Falcons as well. Doesn't fit? All right, all right, all right. Yo, we're going. 
now Joe Barlow will take it. Number three, uh, Jack Gallagher going to set up the offense. 42 inside, did not get that one to go. That was Bryce Fay on the miss. Okay. the rebound. That's going to be how many for him? That's four rebounds already this game. He is playing a great game so far tonight. One quarter through, Ashley Tyson going to set up the offense. Looking to get outside, inside, points, anything that comes. Great crossover by Ethan Lee Tyson. But again, great feat from number 34, John Tucker. You know, Ethan Lee Tyson and Ashley Tyson really work in unison. They're both very quick players. And no one really likes to try to steal from them because they will beat you if you gamble. And they were quick last year. You didn't think they could get any quicker, but somehow they did. It's just the athleticism that they have. It's magic, folks. That family is extremely <laughs> gifted. Nick Parker has Nick got Parker the ball. inside in the post, looking to get something. No, Ben will miss that. Now out to number 20, Will Ben a pace to pass it again to number one, Will Bracken. Nick will Parker a little bit lackadaisical in the hallway. He walks slow, but on the court, he is mean and he's running fast. Well, as a freshman, you kind of see that. <laughs> it is. It's the time, and a great, great Circus finish. Circus shot by number three, Jack Gallagher, the senior. He, it's his last, maybe his last game. He's going to put it here all on the line. He's showing it. Very true. You know, a lot of the thing about this is there's pride involved. We have four seniors on the starting lineup, and they really want to win. Everyone else wants to win, and they're going to put everything out. Out to Ashley Tyson. And if you win here, you get to brag about it. For the next year, for another whole year, you get to brag about it. we went 2-0 against Joel Barlow. Ashley Tyson looking to set the offense, Grant Lamone. Nick Parker did not like the outside shot. Inside, got that one to go. That could have been an N1 shot. You know, yeah, and could have been an N1 shot. The coach wanted a foul. Maybe that was great. And it is now Weston Ball. Two quick turnovers, and now they are pumped to go. The crowd from Joel Barlow, obviously in a little bit. Not liking that. Administrators are telling them, do not say that word. And Nick Parker, when he walks past the table, is giggling a little bit. He's happy that the coach is getting angry. You want to get inside these people's head. High schoolers, unlike NBA players, they're not professionals. So you can really get inside their mind. It's a mental really game. game. It is a, a mental, mental game, game as, long, as well as physical. Ethan Lee Tyson going to side the ball. Ashley Tyson on the outside. Ethan Lee Tyson give it to brother Ethan. Four, three, Ethan, no. No, Ethan Lee Tyson has a great jump shot. Last year, he won basically a whole game in the state tournament on one jump shot, very far off the arc. The first round against the number 11 seed, we were away and a down on that team, and now number 32 driving inside. No, sir. Got that one did not go, but they got the rebound. It is a foul. The coach Viz, the Weston coach, wanted a jump ball. And <laughs> Grant Lamone was straight up, but you know, you are allowed to go into your player, and if they do hit you, they move their arms, it will be a foul. Good call by the ref. Number 32, Chatham Studer, he was a no-show at the first game. I'm, I'm just going to say, he did not show up. There was a lot of talk about him being a great player, and he showed it in his warm-ups. And the fans are cheering very and loudly, they want to miss. And they, they, got, it. they did not get that one. Barlow fans just kind of happy that one in my end. And it is now 18 it to 12, is, Weston. It is a sellout crowd here tonight, even though there aren't really a set amount of people. Get a lot of money for the Boosters Club. It's very good to support. Word got around, and when you get that, you have a large crowd and a great game. And he airballed that one. The crowd is loving it. Weston's loving it. That was uh, that. That happens. It's a brain fart. It's just bad. You shouldn't miss the rim. You should not miss the rim. Especially on a free throw. It's a free point. Varsity high school basketball players should not Nick miss Nick Parker down the outside. Ethan goes to his brother Asher. 4-3. Got it! Asher Lee Tyson. And we're up to Again a from point three. Lead. Nine point lead. Now again, Will Brecken setting up the offense. Going to the, he's going to start up again. Pompey back into the game. Number 32. Good pass inside. Blocked by Matthew Folger. Oh my goodness. Ethan Lee Tyson the outside. Driving outside, Grant Lamone, got it! And they're on the road, Joel Barlow will time out, trying to throw them off this game. But if it keeps going like this, the game will be over very fast. Ashley Tyson has hit two threes. That's really great for him, expanding his game out there. Folger, we saw this. He blocked the shot and then got it and got into transition. That's that, what we like to see. Today. That is exactly what Coach Viz wants. They want turnovers, they want blocks, steals, anything. They want to speed down the court, get an easy layup, 
or just anything that gets them free points. And the crowd is taking a little picture there. It's bothered by Mr. Simon. She takes pictures at the games. Everybody give her a big round of applause. The stands, no, that's fine. Don't worry about it. And if anyone wants a Trojan Army t-shirt, maybe you're from Joel Barlow, you want a souvenir, maybe you're from Weston and you just want, you, you want something where the games fit in, they are being sold for 12 bucks outside. And especially the cheerleaders at the games, they come to almost every sporting event for Weston High School. They cheer the teams on and we cannot thank them enough. You have to give a little shout out to them because they really get the crowd into it. And if the game doesn't, then you know they do. And it's been a big game for the Weston team. You know, they're really doing great. It's a 11 point lead already. And 11 points can be insurmountable sometimes for high school players. David, now that a quarter has gone through, how do you feel your podcasting has gone so far? I think it's gone pretty well, you know. I'm more into the color commentary. You're doing a great job with play by play, but you know we're back to the action right now. All right, here we go. Number 11, Zach Pompey going to set up the offense. Pass to the inside. That almost got stolen. Again, the key factors, what we wanted was the defense, defense, defense. Travel turnover. And Coach Viz is loving it because, again, I'm going to say it again, that's what you want is you want turnovers, anything that gives. Now, checking in for the first time, number two, Brian Cass, the junior. He got some significant playing time last year as well. Brian Cass, shooting specialist. He's been a great shooter since the beginning, seventh grade. He can really shoot it from all places on the court, especially the three-point shot, which is probably what they're looking for. And now, Ethan Lee Tyson dribbling up the court, looking to get a good shot. They want to keep this going at the timeout. Brian Cass, no, great fake. He has a great very, fake. Very quick, quick release, too. He can get oh, shot up there. Julian Bombard, no three there. He did not like it, so it's back out to Ethan. Ethan with a turnaround. He has a great crossover. You have to move your feet very quick to stay up with him. And here he goes, Brian Cass, great pass from Pascal. Our boy missed the layup. And that has been a problem for him. And that is one of the reasons why his rebounds have gotten up so high is because he does miss those, uh, those shots. Pascal gets a lot of second chance points. He's a very big kid, so he can bang and bruise, you know, in the paint. Oh, oh and that, and that a was a very, there that's a foul. Good call, great, Stripes. Good call. Again, good call, Stripes. As my caller commentator wanted to say, and that will be against Barlow. Again, free, free, uh, free ball for, uh, for Weston. There's been now, so many turnovers by Barlow, six as of now, and that can really hurt you, especially. Ethan Lee Tyson is going to get a good clap on the back. He's coming out, playing a great game so far uh, on the defensive side. So he's gonna, they're loving it. And now his brother, Ashley Tyson, setting up the offense. Ashley Tyson looking to get it. Ryan Cass on the outside. Out to Matthew Gurman. This is a lot of movement, a lot of running through, just getting, looking for open shots, a lot of cutting, and that's what this offense is uh, in, in a nutshell. And now Ashley Tyson on the outside, looking to get inside to, his, uh, to Pascal Arboy on the post. No, sir, he's just going to look for it. Cross court to Matthew Gurman. That was a very dangerous pass. Timeout, uh, Coach Biz. And uh, I mean, that, 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 that has to happen. That happens in high school basketball. Timeouts are very key in high school basketball. They can swing a game two different ways. There's 30 second timeouts, full timeouts, which are a minute. And if you have problems and you want to talk to your team, it's not only trying to drop a play, it's also trying to calm them down, trying to get them back in the swing phase. That was a 30 second timeout. If you just want to drop a lead, reset the offense. Maybe like set I up said, a play. No shot clock, so they're fine. They have well, three minutes and 32 seconds to get a shot if they want. We have a break in the action. I'm going to give a quick shout out to my mom and dad. Mom, uh, this is Jeff Silverman. Love you so much. John and Tara Quist, love you guys. Uh, I guess you, uh, you can maybe get here, I guess. So uh, thanks for that. And uh, now back to the game. We're waiting for Weston to come out. Like to take their time out of the off. 23 uh, 12. The Weston Trojans over 11 points over Joel Barlow. 11 points. Like I said, somewhat insurmountable. Mm -hmm. Ashley Tyson going to set up the offense back to Brian Cass. Brian Cass looking to get it inside. No, sir. Now Asher. Brian Cass again, just back and forth. This is their offense. Passing, cutting, passing, cutting. Just trying to get an open shot. Now Matthew Gurman going to look to get it inside of Folger, who has been so hot this year in this game coming right out. And I'll tell you, there are a lot of hands right now. I'm surprised the rest haven't called more region fouls. There's a lot of hand checking, a lot of hands. Brian Cass, 4 3. No, sir. That's the uh, adrenaline. Whoa, that was, it's Weston Ball. It is Weston Ball. That was a very interesting play. Matthew Folger, using his head. <laughs> yeah. 
using his head not only on the court, but in the classroom as well. Thanks, Matthew Robin, Garman in calculus now. class. He's doing great. We do have a test tomorrow, but you know, he should be fine. Maybe the teacher will give him a little bit of extra credit for that play right there. Ashley Lee Tyson going to set up. Great crossover. Going inside, foul in. That's going to be an offensive foul. Tell me what happened there that gave them the offensive foul, David. So the real thing is they're trying to protect players from getting hurt. And what Ashley Tyson did there was use his arm, but as well as that, use his leg. You're not allowed to bring your leg and drive into someone. And you're allowed to be moving a little bit. He was really pretty much set in space. And then they hit him over. And the arm bar was a problem there. A little bit of shoving. Ref saw it. The, the uh, West did not like it. And oh man, there is some back and forth, not only on the court, but in the in the stands as well. And a uh, great layup there for Barlow. Barlow is in the bonus because of all the fouls that Weston has given up. Now Ashley Tyson with a set of the offense of Matthew Gurman. Matthew Gurman, inside, great pass! Ashley Tyson, oh, and that's it's the, also the rims. Great job by Ashley Tyson. Not getting up on the play, though, getting quick tip. Almost got a steal there. Travel there. We've seen so many travels. The feet a little bit too quick. David, tell me a little bit about that. These kids are just getting nervous. They don't know when to set the feet when they're getting the ball. When you get the ball, you want to be strong. You want to go to your triple threat position, and they just get scared. It's tournament time, people. It is tournament time, and both teams know it. They know what's on stake. What's on stake? Going to the next round. You could say at stake, but it's <laughs> on stake as well. And now Ethan Lee Tyson going to the outside. Ashley Lee Tyson going to this guy's pass from Butler that to the inside. Floater, no sir. And now Joel Barlow is going to set up. Great, great tip from Ethan Lee Tyson. That gave him the nickname that I don't know if a lot of people use, but me and David use defense. And now a shot is made from Joel Barlow. Joel Barlow. The shot there, back out to Weston. Nick Parker, 4-3. No, sir. The and now, Barlow on the fast break. This is something you don't really see. You look for a Weston on the fast break. No way up. A quick four points. Again, Coach Biz taking the timeout. You know, it's five points. It's cut down 11 points, five points. That was one of Nick Parker's second field goal attempt of the entire game. We, just, we like him to take a couple more shots. He mm -hmm. does have a good outside shot. But like as we were saying before, he can get to the rim. And the freshman needs to come out shooting it. And uh, I mean, that's something he's done pretty well. I mean, that, that he's done pretty well. I don't year. know. I think he's been a little bit wary. I think Nick Parker really wants to be the guy that will make big shots, but he's not at that point yet. But he really has to take shots to make shots. It's been a 6-0 run by Barlow. Uh, Pompey has had six points, and Stutter five points and four rebounds. Those two guys really leading the team. Yep, yep, yep. That is exactly what's happening. And we'd like to give a shout out to our camera people. Lawrence Roberts is man the station right behind us. He's doing a great job. And there are some other people in the crowd. We'd like to thank them as well. Yep, we would. A uh, shout out to Hunter Young, who's doing our sound. And Tico Ordonez, who's here on somewhere manning the other camera. Now uh, we look to get back into play after the timeout. Coach Viz looking to just set up a play, maybe get some quick points, get the get the train back on track. Ethan Lee Tyson bringing the ball up. Pass inside the ground, Moan. No, sir. And that is Weston Ball. But that is exactly the play. They wanted a quick bucket. They uh, got the pass to the high post to Grand Lamone and looking for a cutter. You know, Viz is looking for some momentum going into halftime. It's important to get that momentum. It's big in high school basketball. Matthew pulls it outside from Ethan Lee Tyson. He's getting a call from Coach Viz. Asher Lee Tyson sending up the offense to Nick Parker. Nick Parker looking. Got it to Grant Lamone. Good lot of cutting. Grant and pass intercepted by Joel Barlow. That was an attempt to take time off the clock, and they did a little bit, but they probably would have liked to hang on to that basketball. Now looking back out to one, Will Bracken. Very far away. He's probably moving a bit. There you go. Number you three, go. Jack Gallagher. Pompe, the uh, leading scorer as of right now. Looking at and swinging around the outside. That's exactly what they're doing right now. Can't really get to the inside because of those bigs from Weston. Mid-range shot from Barlow. Got it. That's a very nice looking shot. Kind of reminiscent of Grant over there. But Fulton has got to get in his man. You know, and that was number 14, won. Adam Kubek. And now Ethan Lee Tyson, 40 seconds on the clock, looking to set up a play. Ja Number three, Jack Gallagher asking if Nate is coach, maybe he should get up on the... Uh, and Paul just getting some defender. cheers from the crowd, trying to fire him up from his fellow juniors and seniors. Nick Parker going to the inside. Pass outside to Ashley Tyson, no. But he, he wants time off the clock. He, he took just, a look up there. Yep, he took a look up there, and that's, I mean, that's okay. You don't, you can't, uh, 
You can't really say any bad things about that. It's good that he's getting off. Zach Ponte, great feet, but not quick enough feet. Foul there because of the hand check. David, tell me a little bit about that hand check. One to, one to stop the clock. You don't want them to get an easy bucket to go into the halftime. Good foul if you ask me. They're taking them out of the game. They don't want them to get any more useless ones. They're putting in zero who is... Number ja Jack Shaden. Number zero. He is a senior this year, 5'9 guard, and he is big. Yep, he is. He makes up for his uh, size by his muscle. <laughs> you see it. And here's actually Tyson driving the inside. That floater, no, a little bit too hard. And now, desperation shot. And see, the thing is, that is what you wanted out of that possession. Ashley Tyson could have had a three, but that wasn't the shot that coach wanted. He knew, kicked it back out, and now they have enough time off the clock. David, why don't you give me some stats from that first half? However, going into the half, it's only a three-point lead for Weston. On the um, Weston side, we have six points for Ashley Tyson, two points for Ethan Tyson, uh, six points for Matthew Folger, two points for Grant, Lamone, and two points for Nick Parker.